You're watching the news on Bahrain International. I'm Mohamed Shaban. Good evening. Chairman of the High Committee of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended the 14th horse race meeting of the season held at the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Track in Rafah Sakhir. Also present were a number of their highnesses and representatives of the sponsors of the race. The race, which was held on the cups of Al Sharif Group, the Crown Industries, the High Sprint Cup, and the Wahoo Cup for Arabian horses, comprised seven events. At the end of the race, trophies were presented to the winners.
An implementation of the joint campaigns aimed at reducing the repeated violations committed by street vendors, especially in these exceptional circumstances that require concerted efforts to combat the spread of the coronavirus. The Ministry of Industry, Commerce and Tourism conducted inspection campaigns in Manama, Salmabad and Ras Zwayed. The three joint inspection campaigns were conducted in cooperation with the Ministry of Interior, Nationality, Passports and Residence Affairs, the Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning, the Ministry of Health, the Labour Market Regulatory Authority and the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Assistance under Secretary for Resources and Control, Abdulaziz Al Ashraf, said that the campaign resulted in more than 350 violations. As a specialist from the Ministry of Works, Municipalities Affairs and Urban Planning seized goods including fruits, vegetables, fish, food products, birds, clothes. He said that the Ministry is continuing efforts in cooperation with the concerned authorities in reducing street vendors through field monitoring and joint and continuous inspection campaigns to control violations. The campaigns aimed at reducing repeated violations of street vendors, especially during the current exceptional circumstances, require concerted efforts to combat the spread of the pandemic. Now, based on the recommendations of the National Medical Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus, the Civil Services Bureau issued directives regarding the application of the work-from-home policy on employees of government agencies. The CSB directed government agencies to work to raise the rate of application of the work-from-home policy to a maximum of 70% of the number of employees in the government agency in accordance with the requirements of the functioning and interest of work and priorities given to pregnant female employees, elderly employees and those suffering from chronic diseases and underlying health conditions. An employee spouse Houses of female employees who carry out vital tasks in the front lines to confront the coronavirus. In addition to the continued implementation of the work from home policy for the working mother in government agencies until further notice. The directives emphasize that employees must perform their job duties alternately between working from home and being in the workplace with each other on a weekly basis. And excluded from these directives are vital jobs in government agencies that provide health, electricity, water, civil aviation affairs, sanitation and other necessary services while the working mother continues to perform vital jobs in particular, health functions according to the requirements of the public interest. The Civil Services Bureau also stressed the need for government agencies to adhere to preventative measures by requiring all employees and public to wear protective face masks, check heat before, check rather temperature before employees and public enter the headquarters of the government agency and apply the principle of social distancing in addition to limiting the holding of meetings remotely through virtual programs while carrying out sterilization operations periodically. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 5,457 active cases with 424 recoveries and 702 registered new cases. 291 of the new registered cases were expatriates, 402 were contacts of active cases and 9 were travel related. The Ministry also announced the death of a 67-year-old male citizen from COVID-19 and expresses its condolences to the family of the deceased and urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating COVID-19.